Hi guys, I was going through the comments on one of my videos and OWN Engineer suggested I should do a rubber band powered car and the components are one folder, three popsicle sticks, six rubber bands, eight paper clips, one straw, tape and glue, unlimited amount. And I wrote back to him saying, what's the dimensions of the folder and what's it made of? And are the popsicle sticks round or flat? And am I supposed to make the wheels from the folder? And he wrote back and said, the folder can be any size I like. The popsicle sticks are flat. And yes, I should make the wheels from the folder. What he didn't say was what the folder's made of. I'm assuming cardboard. I had a search in my garage and I came up with this sheet of cardboard but apparently the dimensions don't matter so this should be fine. I'll cut some wheels out of it and I'll also fold up some of it to make a chassis. That's the four wheels marked up. There's my four wheels cut out. I've got some paper clips here. I'm going to straighten them, straighten them out and see how long they are, see what I can do with them. This will be my chassis. I shall cut it out and fold it into a box shape. I've folded it up. I shall hot glue it to make it into a rigid chassis for the car. While I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up, I'm going to cut this drinking straw in half. Should be right there. I'm planning to use the four or four of the paper clips in there. I'm going to run some hot glue in there as well to stick them together. And that's going to be my axle, and that will be the other axle. That's the chassis glued together. Pretty solid. Now let's see if we can make these paper clips into the axles. Finish unbending that one. While I'm waiting for the hot glue gun. I'll just mark up some small circles, or small discs, that I'll use as spacers between the wheels and the bodywork. I need to drill some holes in them, so that'll be a loose fit over the axles. Anyway, hot glue gun's ready, so let's see how we can get on with doing this. I've marked lines along the sides, and I've marked where I want the holes to be for the axles, and I'm going to try using this, which is a leather punch for punching holes in leather. Just to see if that's good enough to go through here. I'm going to put the axle in place first and put the spacers on. Put 
two on both sides. Centre it up and then put a bit of hot glue on the outside. To hold them in place. we got a bit of a gap. I'll just leave that to cool down and that will hold the axle and stop it going side to side. Attach the rubber band, put that through there, put the rest of the band through the loop, and drop it all the way through. round on itself. There we go. Test run time. I'll wind it up and see if we can get the length of my kitchen. bit to the right, but we did the length, that's five metres. I'll just do it again and this time we'll follow it. Point it left a bit. Summary time. So what have we got? We've got a car, a rubber band powered car that I've made from Cardboard, wheels are cardboard, chassis is cardboard, the axles are four paper clips straightened out and put inside a drinking straw with a bit of hot glue, and the same at the other end, four paper clips, drinking straw and a rubber band for the motor and that's it really so I hope that meets the criteria I've actually used less bits than I was given in the component list and it works does five meters 